five parks. So maybe there will be uh, subterranean flooding will also. Telephone service. When we inquired what the intent was of the additional charge that w would be made to all residents of Webb County, we found out that it was for, <coughs> for uh, providing service on a first responder basis as designated by the county, which means in essence that the fire service that's being provided by the county would be subsidized by, uh, by this additional charges. We indicated, I talked to Commissioner Jerry Garza and indicated to him that uh, we had a problem with what was in, in the piece of proposed legislation. Indicating first of all, that if the charges were going to be put on or tacked on to residents within the corporate limits of the city of Laredo, then why should they be imposed an additional charge if they would not be deriving a benefit from the proposed action? And he indicated, well, basically that he had talked to the uh, telecommunications industry. They said they were going to be fighting that because they were concerned that they were all always being used as a revenue producing uh, part of legislation. So they would be fighting that. And number two, that they were not, at that point, as of Friday, they were not going to be looking as to imposing an additional charge, but to be able to use some of the monies that would be available in the 911 fund. I indicated to them that the same rule would apply. Why would residents from within the city limits of the city of Laredo want to provide, of which I would say 95% of them are located inside the corporate limits of the city of Laredo to be able to provide them money that has been, you know, uh, that has accumulated at the 911 fund at the state, that the money should be spent proportionately. Proportionately, if they were derived from within the city limits, they should be used for city, city, city of Laredo purposes, and if they would be, uh, they would derive from outside the corporate limits of the city of Laredo, they would be used for that purpose. Councilman Garza indicated to him that he was all right with that. I said, well, you know that then the amount is going to be limited, limited as to how much money you're going to derive. He indicated he thought a little bit was better than nothing. I indicated that if the bill would remain the way in its current state, that we would make a recommendation for you to pass a resolution that uh, the city of Laredo would oppose. I then turned around and called, you know, uh, we discussed it with Andrea McWilliams. She called uh, Ryan Guillen's office. I talked to Bob uh, McVeigh, the legislative uh, chief of staff for uh, Representative Guillen, and he indicated to me that he wanted to make sure that this was something that was brought by the county to them. And they, I said, well, we would appreciate if you would let us know what's going on, because this obviously flies in the face of the interest of the city of Laredo. Uh, he indicated that he thought we could work all the details out, that it was not now intended to be able to follow the script as, as House Bill 3717 is written, that it would, you know, basically use some of the funding. I told him we would still have a problem because we wanted to make sure that the monies that were derived from accounts inside the city should be spent in the city, and the other one should be spent in the county proper. Uh, he indicated he would let, you know, Representative Guillen know. Uh, we asked him that please, if anything, legislation, whether this would, um, he was very gracious and very understanding. So there was not any, you know, confrontational, you know, talk going back and forth. It was just uh, everybody trying to protect, you know, the, the each political entity's in interest. And obviously, uh, absent any substitute legislation, I would still urge the council to pass a resolution in opposition to House Bill 3717.